Suddenly, Oscar cried out. A boy named Eric had snatched the book from him. Give it back, Oscar yelled. You are not sharing, Eric retorted. It's my turn now. Just then, Jen and Ginny came back, their arms filled with paint, paintbrushes and cans of paints. Now we can get started with the best part, painting, said Kirsty. But no one heard her. They were too busy arguing. Stop taking all the good brushes, Amy was saying at the top of her voice. I should get the best ones. I want the green paint, said Lara. No, I want it, Eric yelled, grabbing the can of paint and trying to wrestle it away from Lara. Meanwhile, Oscar had already started painting and had almost finished that F of the word friendship in red. Wait, Amy will. That's not fair. Everyone was supposed to help write the word. I wanted to write the F. I wanted to do it purple. Sorry, said Oscar. You can all help me finish it. Christy and Rachel joined him and started to paint. Hey, said Lara. Oscar is my best friend. So he should paint with me, not you. She glared at Christy and Rachel and dragged Oscar away from them. The girls looked at Ginny and Jen, hoping that they would break the fighting up. But the teenagers weren't looking at the children. They were each holding on tight to one end of the tennis rackets, and they were both red in the face. I should have the racket, said Ginny. The rain spell park committee gave it as a thank you for painting the wall, and painting it was my idea. No, it wasn't. Jen had slim. I thought of it first, and I was the one who got permission from the park committee, so I should get the tennis racket. But I organized getting all the paints and supplies, Ginny said, through gritted teeth. This racket should be mine. Christine and Rachel exchanged a worried look. I can't help that they are fighting like this, said Rachel. They are supposed to be best friends. Christine looked around at the other children. They were all arguing now. Even Austin and Lara were snatching paintbrushes out of each other's hands. Nobody wants to share anything, Christine said. This is all because of Jack Frost and his troublesome goblins. None of them understand what true friendship is. Jack Frost's troublemaking ways were fresh in their memories. Just the day before, the friendship fairies had invited Rachel and Kirsty to a tea party in Fairyland. The girls had been having a lovely time with Esther, the kindness fairy. Mary the Sharing Fairy, Mimi the Laughter Fairy, and Claire the Caring Fairy, until Jack Frost and the Goblins had snuck into the garden and stolen their magical objects. Jack Frost had taken the magical objects so that he could be super powerful and have lots of friends to boss around. He had ordered the Goblins to take the magical objects to the human world and find some friends for him. Remembering the shock faces of the friendship fairies, Rachel felt more determined than ever to get a magical object back. All these friendships should be strong and happy, she said, looking around at the other children. Without the magical objects, they are all going to be ruined. We have to help all the friendship fairies get the objects back. Watching Ginny and Jen, Kirsty felt tears and sympathy prickling her eyes. She thought about how horrible it would feel to argue with Rachel like that. Luckily, their old friendship Florence, the friendship fairy, has had cast her friendship through a thick and thin spell on their bracelets, so their friendship wouldn't be affected. But Florence's spell wouldn't last forever. If the fairies didn't find their magical objects back soon, even Rachel and Kirsty, Kirsty would turn against each other. Rachel guessed what Rachel 
was thinking and squeezed her hand. We helped Esther and Kindness Perry get her magical heart brooch back from the goblins yesterday. She said, we can do this, don't worry. It just seemed like such a huge task, said Trusty. If we don't find three remaining missing magical objects, all the friendship will be ruined. People can't fight about every little thing and then still end up best friends. Suddenly, there was a yell from the children beside the picnic table. Amy and Eric was covered in orange paint, which was also spilling over all over the deck. That was your fault, Amy snapped. Amy snapped. No, you spilled it, Eric replied. Things are getting worse, and said Rachel with a groan. This is awful. 